Namaste, I am Samya and welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today's video is about a new, relatively new release from Latafa. It is this beauty, Aurak Al Oud. That's what the bottle looks like. She's stunning, isn't she? And this is how the box looks like. It comes with the authentication from Latafa. Believe it or not, a lot of copies of Latafa has been made and uh, sold on Amazon and eBay. So just be very careful. If you can find an authentic seller, it's worth it. And I buy my perfumes from Samawa. I would just leave the link down there. Not affiliated, nothing. Just that's the place from where I shop most of my Arabic perfumes. And this is how it opens up. And in there you will find this beauty as like most of the Latafa perfume bottles. It's just beautiful. There we go. Now time to spritz. I love the quality of the nozzle. And, oh my God, it fills up. Okay. I love the quality of the nozzle, the way it sprays, how beautiful the bottle looks and feels, how heavy it is, and even the cap, look at the details on the cap. Stunning. It makes an incredible gift. Okay, uh, coming to the perfume itself. Mm. Okay, I get a lot of rose, hardly any oud, the notes that Latafa states are rose, aldehydic notes, saffron, sweet notes, oud wood, amber, and musk. Okay, before I say more about the notes, I have to talk about the perfume, the bottle, right? I mean, it's a 100 ml bottle and it retails for 44 dirhams. I bought it for 35 sometimes on sale you get it for even 32 dirhams now okay <sighs> this is not a perfume for everyone is something i would say straight up uh, if you are someone who's more into blind buying latafa perfumes i would say this is not a blind buy for example opulent musk i'll put a picture here if you like uh, Bath and Body Works in the stars if you like Ariana Grande's cloud then you would love that so that was a safe buy it doesn't have a crazy CRG or projection and it's beautiful this is not like that this is a beast this projects like crazy for the first one hour it has enormous CRG for the first 30 to 45 minutes depending on where you live uh, the weather, your skin pH, everything. But even even then, I would say it is a beast. And the rose in here, I can get the rose, but it's more like the opening is an aldehydic synthetic opening. Now, aldehydes are obviously, you know, chemical man-made compounds in the lab. Um, sometimes it smells like fresh laundry and uh, sometimes it makes certain fragrances more aggressive. Um, I think the aldehyde added in here in, to my nose, which is an amateur nose. I'm not a perfumer. I'm not a perfume student or anything. I'm just a normal person who enjoys perfumes. So to my nose, the aldehyde is very synthetic and very aggressive. The opening is very aldehydic aggressive. Then I've written it down aggressive nose piercing kind of headache inducing for certain people after that after two hours it's a shibha woody scent shibha means more a dry nothing syrupy nothing sticky about it so though it has sweet notes it's still a very dry woody scent towards the end if you like aldehydic scents, if you like rose if you do not mind the synthetic vibe for the first hour because you are looking for a very beast mode long-lasting fragrance which is very affordable 
this is a no-brainer now is it feminine or masculine i have read it somewhere someone wrote that um this is feminine i i would think this is unisex to me this is easily unisex my brother who is uh, working for an airline who has to deal with passengers on a day-to-day -day basis they have uh, you know people who work in airline industry who directly deals with passengers they have to smell a certain way look a certain way and he approves of this even during his 12 hour shift uh, my husband enjoys this a lot and i could actually smell this on his shirt even after a full proper washing of his shirt in the washing machine so this is the highlight of this perfume is it's a beast perfume it's a very long lasting perfume it lasts more than 12 hours you smell this on you even after 12 hours on your skin uh, on your clothes so that's a huge but if you are someone who's a perfume enthusiast a perfume collector who enjoys this um elegant kind of perfumes you might find this lacking it's a very typical arabic dna it's been made a thousand times before you have smelled things like this before so it's not groundbreaking it's not unique it's not something that would you want want to add to your unique collections but for a day-to-day -day wear something that lasts long and long and long something that you can wear with your um, traditional wear with your abayas um, not very fresh t-shirt jeans white but you know what a few spritz and this could work in that way and to my nose as i mentioned it's unisex so yeah and my husband loves layering this with oud mood from latafa and he also enjoys layering this with amir al oud now if you are looking for a perfume that has, screams oud you would be disappointed because as i mentioned it's very aldehyde rose saffron and the dry down is very shikha and woody there is no intense wood notes there is some element of woodiness not there's no bhakur there is no oud that is standing out i enjoy wearing it and not very much a summer appropriate scent but definitely autumn winter 100 percent evening scent can you wear it in the day here in dubai everyone wears every kind of sense throughout the year irrespective of seasons and irrespective of day and night it's just how it works over here in most of the arabic countries that's how it works but you are in, but if you are in a western country definitely i would say autumn winter and evening scent not a first date appropriate scent in my opinion because this could be a little too much and little too out there and um, more unisex in my opinion again i like it i am not crazy about it will i use it absolutely yes will i repurchase my husband wants to repurchase this and uh, if you can see we are down till here which is his contribution because he genuinely loves this he's got a lot of compliments i haven't received any compliments wearing it but he's got a lot of compliments wearing it that's it thank you so much for watching let me know your thoughts i am trying to reach 10,000 subscribers that's the goal of the year so that i can make more videos <laughs> so that's it bye bye